Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Kitchen by Parade. I'm Emma from Emma's Goodies. I'm a pastry chef and over on my channel, I love sharing with you guys simplified versions of bakery style classics. It is officially fall, so of course today we're gonna make something fall inspired. You love to buy banana bread donut holes from a previous challenge, so today we're gonna make the fall version. I was challenged to make apple fritters in 10 minutes or less. Usually apple fritters take anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to make, but I think we can make these in 10 minutes. So let's get started and let's start that clock. Okay, so we're going to start by making the glaze as it's the easiest thing to make. You can have apple fritters without the glaze. The glaze is just powdered sugar, a splash of milk or cream, and vanilla. I was using vanilla powdered sugar, that's why you don't see me adding vanilla. But don't skimp on the vanilla. Vanilla just makes everything more delicious. Give everything a good mix and set the glaze to the side. Now we're going to use a food processor to help us make the fritters. You don't have to use it, however, we do want to make these fritters in 10 minutes or you know, at least try to make these in 10 minutes. So using a food processor really cuts down on time. Into the bowl of a food processor, add the yogurt and one large apple that's been peeled and cut into thin wedges. If you're making this recipe by hand, a good tip is to cut the apple into small tiny pieces. That way there's a bit of apple throughout the whole fritter and in every bite. For those of us using a food processor, we're going to pulse these ingredients until the apple is completely shredded and well blended with the yogurt. You're going to add this mixture to the self-rising flour. I'm also gonna add a bit of sugar for sweetness. Now you don't have to go out and buy self-rising flour. It's just essentially flour, baking powder, and salt. You can easily make it yourself. Just head over to parade.com for the proportions and measurements, and you'll also find the printable recipe for these spritters. Using a spatula, we're going to mix everything by hand until well combined. If you feel the batter is a bit dry, you can add a splash of milk. Don't go overboard though, because we're looking for a stiff, but also soft and loose texture, just like this. You're going to quickly transfer this mixture into a sturdy piping bag fitted with a large round tip. If you feel the piping bag is a bit flimsy, you can double up on the piping bag. Using a piping bag is a great quick and easy hack to make fritters. They'll cook more evenly since, you know, they're all the same size. And it's just easier to pipe the fritters into the oil. We're going to run over to the stove, literally. Don't run though. I'm just running because, you know, this is a challenge and I'm really trying to make these um, in 10 minutes. There's no cameraman here. You're going to preheat the oil. Anytime you're frying, you really do need to preheat the oil. And you do want to use the back burner, that way the pan is farther away from you and it's safer. You're going to snip the tip of the piping bag. And I do like to dip the scissors into the oil, that way the dough does not stick to the scissors. Once your oil has reached 350 degrees Fahrenheit, we're going to start piping the fritters. Now you can make these as big as you want, and if you want to make you know, traditional apple fritters, just pipe these loosely. However, this is a challenge, and again, I'm really you know, on a time crunch here. So I'm gonna pipe these quite small, kinda like mini donut holes. By the way, in case you're wondering, apple fritters are in fact a type of donut. Some people will argue with me, but fritters are essentially a type of donut. You're going to carefully give these a stir from time to time using a slotted spoon, and you wanna cook these until golden. I wanna say these took about three minutes to fully cook. Once they're golden, you're going to remove these from the oil using the same slotted spoon, and you're gonna place these onto some paper towels or onto a clean kitchen towel. Now this isn't traditional, but you have to do this. You have to toss these in cinnamon sugar. I'm telling you this right here, the cinnamon sugar is what's going to make these amazing. If you're going to skip the cinnamon sugar, you might as well not make these, just being honest. Give the fritters a good toss. There's just something so amazing about the cinnamon sugar paired with the glaze and the fritters that will make these taste like fall. And we did go over 10 minutes, but just by about 20 seconds. That's still 10 minutes in my book. Plate these up, drizzle the glaze on top, and now how delicious do these look? And these only took 10 minutes to make. I hope you get to try this recipe. This will be perfect to make 
made for any fall get together or a delicious breakfast treat and easy enough to make with the whole family. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more pop kitchen recipe videos and check out my channel Emma's Goodies for more easy desserts. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.